Hello, in this video we're going to look at break-even analysis. Uh, let's start with the definition. Uh, the break-even point is the minimum quantity of output that the firm must produce to avoid losses. This occurs where total revenue equals total cost. Some simplifying assumptions, total revenue and total cost are upward sloping straight lines. In other words, the, slopes of total rev the slope of total revenue and the slope of total cost are constant. Uh, as a result, the average variable cost is constant, and marginal cost will also be constant as a result, too. Uh, the price of the product is determined in the market and is independent of the firm's output, and we'll assume that the price is constant as well. So example one, total revenue equals 12 times Q. The 12 is the price in the market, so we're assuming the price in the market is $12. firm takes that as a given. The firm's a price taker. The firm's total cost is 10,000 plus 2Q. The 10,000 part represents fixed cost. The 2Q part represents the variable cost. So total cost is fixed cost plus variable cost. To find, again, the break-even point, uh, I'm going to just set total revenue equal to total cost. That's what I do down here. Uh, so after writing out total revenue equal total cost, uh, just simplifying, we're going to subtract 2Q from both sides giving us 10Q equals 10,000. Dividing through by 10, 10,000 divided by 10 is 1,000. So the break-even point occurs at 1,000 units of output. If the firm would produce less than 1,000 units of output, it would have uh, an economic loss. Its profits would be negative. If the firm produces more than 1,000 units of output, its profits would be positive. Uh, and again, right at 1,000 units of output, the firm breaks even. Economic profit is zero. If you wanted to get the break-even sales, take this 1,000 and plug it into the total revenue function, and we see that break-even sales or break-even revenue occurs when the firm sells $12,000 worth of goods. Example two. Uh, example two is uh, slightly more complicated. Here we're going to calculate the break-even point given the following information. The firm sells its product at $10. The firm has fixed cost of $5,000. And the firm has average variable cost that is constant at $6. So let's set up our important condition here. Total revenue equals total cost for the break-even point. What's total revenue? So I'm just writing this in general terms now. Total revenue is price times quantity. What's total cost? fixed cost plus variable cost. Moving us down to the next step, and the most critical part of this is, rep is recognizing that variable cost can be written as average variable cost times quantity. So if you know the variable cost per unit and you multiply it by the number of units of output, you get back variable cost. The next step here is a little algebra. Let's subtract average variable cost times quantity from both sides. So that moves average variable cost times quantity over to the left-hand side. We're going to factor out a Q term on the left-hand side, leaving us with this. So we're going to take what's in parentheses here, and we're going to just divide through, leaving us with this important expression. The break-even output equals fixed cost divided by the price minus average variable cost. We can make our substitutions now. So 5,000 divided by 10 minus 6, we see our break-even output is at 1,250 units. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.